mina. Mina, 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 mina. Yo, 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 what is goody people? So, uh, I get tons of requests on Logan. What do you buy when you go to Walmart? Like, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to do the ketogenic diet. I want to lose body fat. Please, please, please make a video. I actually did make a video years ago. I want to say this was like three years ago video. Boom, right there. But it's 2019. It's time to update this video. Since then, Walmart has got so much more healthier options and a lot more keto-friendly foods. It's time to do another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you what foods you can buy at Walmart if you're trying to lose body fat, if you're trying to lose weight, and keep it somewhat underneath a, you know, a certain budget. So enough talking, let's get started. So first item on our list is we're gonna do some walnuts. Walnuts are phenomenal when you do the ketogenic diet very good fats and they're a lot cheaper than almonds and they're not so heavy on the carbs also when you're looking for walnuts come in the baking section there is a section where they have like the little planters and a little like cup nuts uh don't go to that section they're really overpriced like you get a much better deal when you come to the baking section walnuts to start off our first item on our list okay so next item since we're here in the baking aisle uh here's a big section of coconut oil i will tell you this back when i first recorded this video they did not have all these items. They didn't have flaxseed. They didn't have ghee. Like I'm super, super excited that they have ghee. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a little bit of both. So I'm gonna get the coconut oil and ghee. This is grass fed ghee right here. This stuff is amazing, I'm telling you. Really, really healthy fats. You can cook with this. Uh, there's so much you can do. You get those in your coffee if you want for a keto coffee. So this will be the second item on the list. Coconut oil blended with a little bit of ghee. Now it is up to you. You could go straight ghee, nothing wrong with that. Or you can go straight coconut oil. I'll leave that up to you but I'm a big fan of both. Next up, we have some almond milk. Uh, what I like to go with is the unsweetened almond milk. A lot of people think the regular almond milk is good. Nothing wrong with it, it's just really high in sugar, so I try to stay away from that. Uh, so right here, this is like one of my go-to ones right here, this is by my Silk uh, Unsweetened Almond Milk. I love throwing this in my coffee. I also have a recipe for keto lattes, which I use this. Again, when you go keto, you can't really have lattes from Starbucks, so they're just packed with sugar. Instead, switch it up with this, and then you obviously get a shot of espresso, and bada bing, bada boom, you have a keto latte. But yes, my go-to right here, almond milk, unsweetened, 30 calories per serving you can't beat them all right so now we're in the egg section now one thing about Walmart is that they're not gonna have any free-range eggs which is obviously the best option to go with the second best option is that they're gonna have cage free now again it's not that much better than the regular eggs but it's better so right here gonna get some cage free eggs if you do find a Walmart that has a uh, free range obviously go with those but I have yet to find a Walmart that does so this is where we're going so next up is yogurt now one thing about yogurt it's a little bit controversial because it does have a little bit of sugar it has seven grams per serving now could that not get a ketosis yes and no I recommend taking this after a workout what I love about yogurt it's very high in protein and obviously go with the 2% it's a little bit higher in fat there's a lot of yogurt out here it's like low fat yogurt low fat this low fat that stay away from the low fat yogurts I like going with the 2% it has 4.5 grams of fat per serving 23 grams of protein and 7 grams of carbs per serving which is actually not that bad but again this is optional for me you know I'm all about muscle building I'm all about getting fit burning body fat so this is definitely going to be a staple in my weight loss keto diet now we're like in the cream section so what we're going to do is we're going to do some cream cheese I absolutely love cream cheese I can literally eat cream cheese out of a little container obviously that's not the best option but again everything in moderation Philadelphia uh, one third uh, less fat. Now again, I know you just said, Logan, you said you know you want as much fat as you can get. This one, the ingredients are a little bit better than the original ones. Uh, five grams of fat, two grams of protein, and three grams of carbs. Again, cream cheese, absolute must. And plus, Baby Lo loves this stuff. She absolutely loves this stuff. She goes to town on this, and I don't mind her eating it because cream cheese is good for you. Okay, butter, 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 butter. As you can see, the butter section is massive. Like, look at this. From there to there is nothing but butter, but it's all good. It doesn't matter because right here, this is all. This is the little section we need. Actually, this is the section we need. So for those of you, there are going to be three different Kerrygold butters. I always go with the gold bricks. The gold bricks, this is the money. Grass-fed butter right here. These gold bricks, I absolutely love these. I'll probably go through this and uh, maybe a week and a half. 
don't go with this one right here, guys. I made the mistake by going with this one one time and I got called out big time. This has canola oil in it. You wanna stay away from canola oil. Canola oil is bad for you. Just stay away from it. You wanna go with the gold bricks right here. So this is gonna be the next item on our keto weight loss grocery list. Okay, so moving on down the aisle, next up is some sour cream. Love sour cream right here. Look at the macros on here. Five grams of fat, one gram of carbs, and one gram of protein. Everything we're getting is very low in carbs, high in fats. Fat's gonna be our new energy source. It's gonna help us burn through body fat and help us reach our summer bodies that we all want. Again, it's still technically summertime, guys, so you still got time. Okay, so next up is the cheese section. And I, I, thought, I thought the butter section was huge. The cheese section is massive. Look, it goes all the way down from there, all the way down. Here. Uh, but all we need is some Parmesan. So this is what we're gonna go with. I think Parmesan cheese is gonna be the best option you can go with. Uh, seven grams of fat, one gram of carb, and nine grams of protein. Macros are phenomenal. So next up, cheese, Parmesan. Okay, so next up we have some bacon. Now, in my opinion, I prefer turkey bacon over pork bacon. I know, I'm gonna get slaughtered in the comments below. I know, I know, no pun intended. Uh, so right here we have some turkey bacon. Macros are really good. This is uncured. 2.5 grams, uh, grams of fat, one gram of carb, five grams of protein. Now we're on to the meats, the meat section. So one thing about Walmart, they're not gonna have grass-fed and grass-finished beef. Unfortunately, guys, they're just not there yet, but give them a couple years, hopefully they will get there. Uh, they're not like ButcherBox, shout out to ButcherBox. ButcherBox has the best meats that you can get, but unfortunately, Walmart is not butcher box, so you gotta make what you can do, right? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do some ground beef chunk. This is 80-20 ground beef. Can't go wrong, so much you can do with this. You can make taco salads, you can make boneless burgers. I mean, there's really, possibilities are really endless. So we're gonna do a couple of these ground chunks right here, and this is gonna be our staple on the ketogenic diet. Yes, red meat is gonna be the staple. I'm telling you, once you get in ketosis, you will burn body fat like that, so not to worry. I don't wanna freak you out. Don't panic, Hispanic, ground beef is good for you. Okay, veggies, veggies, veggies. So now we're on to the veggies. I prefer doing frozen veggies. They're just more convenient in my opinion. I always go with broccoli. You absolutely cannot go wrong with broccoli. Well, I want you to try this because it's the green vegetable. Just try a little taste. I can't, I can't. You gotta get your veggies in, so this will last me a good while. I just prefer frozen because it's just more convenient. So here we go, boom, veggies up next. Pickles, pickles, pickles. You know me guys, I love me some pickles. Only real men eat pickles. Okay, so right here we're gonna go with kosher dill pickles. If you're one of those people who like needs to snack, again, you're not supposed to be snacking. I definitely don't recommend in snacking, but if you are, just grab yourself a pickle and you'll be good. Plus, when you finish, drink the pickle juice. Yes, you heard me correctly. The big reason why I drink pickle juice is packed with tons of sodium. You're gonna need that when you do the ketogenic diet so you do not get the ketogenic flu. So yeah, drink some pickle juice and it'll get you right past the keto flu. Okay guys, so next up we got some coconut milk. Man, this stuff is really, really good. Again, the macro is really good. Nine grams of fat, two grams of carbs, and two grams of protein. Remember when I told you, if you're gonna eat something that's high protein, you have to balance it with something that's high in fat. This will help you out. You can make a shake with this. I'm telling you, there's so many things you can do with coconut milk. This is really gonna help you for those of you who are like used to eating smoothies and really, really high sugar sugary drinks. Uh, this is a great, great substitute right here. This next item will probably gross you out. It definitely grossed me out when people first told me about it and I tried it and I was like, you know what? It's not that bad, but I'm telling you, sardines, sardines are like one of the best I'm dropping it, I'm dropping it. Come on, look, get it together, Can get it, it together. Oh. Uh, sardines are the best, one of the best foods you can get when it comes to the ketogenic diet. If you are starting the ketogenic diet, I highly, highly recommend getting sardines. Now, yes, they are gonna be a little hard to get used to, especially if you've never eaten them, you're gonna open this thing up and be like, like, oh my God, that is disgusting. Like, I am not gonna eat that, but I promise you they are super, super healthy. It's like one of those, what do you call it? Like, like a superfoods, I would almost say. So sardines, sardines, sardines. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these, probably, well, probably about five of them. So I'm gonna grab five sardines, and this is gonna be another staple when it comes to sticking on the ketogenic diet, burning body fat, losing weight, and getting one step closer to your summer body. So we're almost done. Next one is gonna be some turkey burgers. I'm telling you, again, I like to, when I shop for like my healthy food, I know it's, I'm weird like that. I like to break it down. Like I, I like to get my protein foods first. I like to get my high fat foods first. And then I like to get my somewhat very, very low carb foods. 
So right here, this is gonna be my high protein foods right here. Turkey burgers, the macros are amazing, and the ingredients, guys, it's only turkey, sea salt and rosemary extract. I mean, you cannot get any simpler than that. So highly, highly recommend these right here, turkey burgers. Next up, we got some chicken, chicken, chicken. We got some boneless chicken breast right here. Um, again, I'll leave that up to you on where you wanna get your chicken breast from. But again, me, I like to keep it frozen because I don't know when I'm gonna eat it. You guys know me, I'm always run, 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 on the go, on the go, on the go. When I freeze it, I don't have to worry like, hey man, I got some freaking food in the fridge. I need to hurry up and cook it. Uh, so here we go right here. We got some chicken breast and this is the brand I'm gonna go with right here no antibiotics again this is not the best that you can get but it's the best that you can get at Walmart okay so next up we're gonna do some avocados I'm telling you man avocados are phenomenal when you do the ketogenic diet now one thing they are a little bit higher in carbs so be careful but I mean they're an absolute staple when you're trying to stay on track with the ketogenic diet trying to get some fats in and some good healthy fats so we're gonna grab a couple probably gonna grab one more but uh yeah three avocados should be good all right, guys, so the last item on the list, I totally forgot. We were like in this section in the beginning of this video and we totally forgot. And Crystal said, like, this is the one thing that we use the most. So heavy whipping cream, guys. Absolutely love heavy whipping cream. So I'm a huge fan of the keto coffee in the mornings. And one of the main ingredients in my keto coffee is heavy whipping cream, coconut oil, butter, and what else? What else do I put in there? And a little bit of MCT powder, but I have that at home already. So those are my three main ingredients. Like when I do a keto coffee in the morning, it helps me get my fats up for the day. You know, like a lot of people struggle with getting their fats in and you have to understand fats are gonna be your new energy source. That is what's gonna help you and fuel you burning body fat, fuel your weight loss, fuel you getting to that summer beach body that you want. So don't be scared of fat, especially if you are gonna be committed on doing the ketogenic diet. So this is gonna be the last item of the day. So there you go guys, come over here, come over here, come on, come on. Come on. <coughs> My you got my wife coughing the whole video right. like cut 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 because she's coughing it's all good baby so here it is guys this is my keto walmart grocery haul for weight loss to get that summer beach body to burn body fat um and again i, I don't even know how much it's gonna cost i guess we'll find out here in a little bit but I mean, this is pretty much weight loss grocery haul on a budget because we're here at Walmart. Everything's cheap here at Walmart. It's not the best. And I wish my wife would quit coughing, but it's all good. Sorry. It's all good. Here it is, guys. So we're going to go pay for this. We're going to see how much it costs. And then we will close out this video. So we're back from, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I know so I probably should put the groceries up, but I wanna finish out this video before I do that. So, okay, hopefully everything's out of our way. All right, everybody, so that is my ketogenic Walmart grocery haul for someone who's trying to lose weight, for someone who's trying to lose body fat and try to stay what on a budget. Now again, I know grocery shopping hauls can be very, very expensive, okay? I've been to Whole Foods, okay? I've been to Trader Joe's it can definitely rack up really, really quick. But one thing you have to look at it as is like, look, I see everybody buying the newest iPhone, the newest iWatch, the latest glasses, the latest shoes. They spend all of this money on material things, right? But they don't spend money on your health, your body, what you put inside your body. You can easily go get a new iPhone. You can easily go get a new Apple Watch or new shoes, but you cannot get a new body. So you need to take care of your body today. So that being said, a lot of these foods, yes, there are definitely better alternates, especially if you go to like Whole Foods. Now again, these are the best options that you can get at Walmart. The reason why I did Walmart is because Walmarts are everywhere, guys. Like 99% of the people that are watching this in America can easily just walk down to Walmart or drive down to Walmart and that's like five, 10 minutes away. Not too many people can go to like Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or Costco's or all these other like bougie stores, right? Walmart's like the most common one you can do. So anyways, guys, I hope this video did help you out. If you did like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Please give it a thumbs up for the $89 that I spent to make this video. And let me know if I missed anything. Let me know what your favorite thing to get at Walmart is. As always, guys, I gotta put these groceries up before they spoil. I love you. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.